What is up guys? Welcome back to another Palantir video. We got some shocking news today, but before we get started, definitely check out the private Discord server in the description below. We have several trades. In fact, our win rates is 80 to 90%. We are totally transparent and we are so serious about this to the point that we are actually hiring a bunch of really incredible analysts. These are some of the best traders around the world. We also have our admins and also me. We are working on some of the spreads. So this isn't just like a one-man job. In fact, there's several individuals, there's several of us admins, there's me, there's a bunch of analysts, and we're all trying to help you make money. And we have a bunch of information. We got technical analysis, all that great stuff. If you check out our server profit and loss, we are making a bunch of money. Our members are getting filthy rich. It's really awesome. If you're tired of losing money, definitely check out the private Discord server. Spots are filling up fast. Definitely check it out. And plus, if you don't like it, cancel before May 1st and you won't be charged. Let's get back to Palantir. This is by far my favorite stock out there. It's going to be on an absolute roll. Remember how it said that stocks that follow Warren Buffett's fundamentals always tend to go up. What Warren Buffett said is always invest in companies that are always being used or invest in companies that other people and other institutions see massive value on. And IBM recently just reported something very shocking about Palantir. If you guys don't know, IBM actually signed a massive contract with Palantir. And the reason why is IBM just wants more efficiency, thus more money. It's pretty normal when you're going to be buying something from Palantir or from anyone, you want to be making money from that, like a pretty big investment. And IBM's earnings are pretty interesting. And they're on CNBC. And I found that IBM's Red Hat, which is this I'm showing you, was up roughly 17 to 20% compared to the projective 2%. And this is kind of weird. Now, Red Hat was part of the Palantir partnership deal back in February. As more and more companies report like five to seven X more efficiency, guess what? More and more companies are going for this data analytics, this software computing kind of stuff. They want to have their data more organized. And the more organized they are, obviously the more money they make. And this is why IBM will be extending and they will not be quitting Palantir. In fact, of all of the Palantir customers out there, I don't think a single one has ever backed out of Palantir because so many companies like IBM's Red Hat had, was up several percentages than it projected because they use Palantir, meaning companies actually see value. What's really scary is if IBM said that they were losing money or didn't make any extra money at all using Palantir, then that means Palantir software sucks. The reason why I know that Palantir is a really good product fundamentally and the reason why the share prices aren't going up because of the increased short interest is because they're heavily used by major government institutions. Yeah, you heard that right. It's being used by government institutions and government institutions only use the best of the best. There are several data analytic AI companies out there on the stock market, but none of those have big partnerships and consistent partnerships with Palantir. For example, Palantir Technologies is constantly getting major contracts with the Army, the Air Force, and several other institutions, not just here in the US, but around the world. And IBM, IBM's Red Hat, they're making a bunch of money. When you see 17% increased growth compared to the projected 2%, something is definitely up. And that only happened the few months after they got Palantir on board. And it's big. And this is why Palantir, I feel like is a really good software, just simply looking at that. Kramer is also pretty bullish on Palantir, but he doesn't really want to admit it. Kramer kind of likes the business, but here's the thing. He always talks about how good companies are and companies are usually partnering up with other data analytic companies. The more they partner up with these data analytic companies, the more money they make because the more organized they are, the easier and better decisions they make. And Palantir is offering that service. And this service is so well accepted that Palantir, once they get a customer, they're not really losing any customers. So long story short, Kramer is kind of low key bullish on Palantir. Same thing with Kathy Wood. Even CEO Alex Karp has came out and said that he's very frustrated about the stock price. The stock price is not supposed to move like this. It's supposed to be moving really well. And the reason why it's not moving well, well, it's because of the shorts. If you check this out, short interest has increased by a whopping 27%. The amount of shares being shorted went from 45 billion to 57 million. That's a massive increase. And when you have a short interest that's increasing, every time when the shares go up, it automatically gets shorted and share prices plummet down to the dirt. It happens all the time. And remember, 
When the short interest increases, it's also a good thing if the company fundamentally themselves is good. No matter how heavily people short it, Palantir will always have a floor value of $21. In my opinion, Palantir is almost impossible to drop below $20. It's not gonna go to 19. If it does for a split second, I'm gonna be loading up on a ton of shares here. Palantir Technologies at $23, it's hovering extremely well. As long as the short interest increases and eventually share prices will break out, very similar to NEO and very similar to Tesla in quarter three of 2020. With all that good news, Tesla eventually broke out and all the shorts were forced to cover. Same thing, if the short interest increases, and the stock breaks out to 25 and 27, we should be seeing a lot of people buying back the shares to close the positions and thus essentially making it a short squeeze, very similar to the GameStop incident. Now, if you wanna trade options, it's perfectly fine, but I don't recommend anything that expires super early. What I recommend is something that expires August 20th and picks up like a $27 strike price. This is one of the more popular options out there. Implied volatility is at 61%, which means that the option is not inflated at all. It's a really good price to play this option. You have to check it out. And the reason why I'm not recommending anything a week out, anything two months out even, is because Palantir Technologies will most likely flat possibly for the next few weeks. You want to capitalize on that. And for Palantir, if you see a massive surge in the stock, it's best to sell at least half of your bullish positions because you want to lock in some gains. And last but not least, we got to talk about some big things. Expect Palantir stock to blow up. We've been seeing a lot of big things. Big analysts out there on Wall Street saying how the stock could be increasing 87% in three years to $41 a share, but I'm feeling it could be going even further. You even have the FDIC coming out thanking Palantir because their product and their software works really well. So we have two examples today. One of them is from the FDIC. They're like, yeah, Palantir is a really good software. Their processing speeds are fast and it's making things really easy. And then you got IBM's Red Hat. They're saying that they got 17% increased growth during the earnings call instead of a projected 2%. 2% is very small and they only got 17% which is like a whopping 8x more the moment that you start using Palantir. And this means that Palantir actually works and they have award-winning software and they have a good product. But guess what? Because the short interest keeps going up, the stock is heavily stuck. Even Kathy Wood is heavily bullish on Palantir. If you check out the latest 13F filings for the hedge funds, I've shown this before in previous videos, 90% of all hedge funds are either buying more Palantir or holding Palantir. And only 10% of hedge funds are selling Palantir stock, which is very unusual to see. That's about it, guys. Thanks for watching. Comment below. Definitely check out BlockFi. Link in the description. Click on it, make a BlockFi account, deposit some money, and get up to $250 worth of Bitcoin. Thanks for watching, guys.